Hey guys, my name is Sarah Parker. Welcome to my channel. This channel has no real purpose yet. I always wanted to turn it into something special, but well, there are so many ideas and so many things to do, so I'm deciding now. This is my cosplay channel. We're doing cosplay on this channel. Maybe some other stuff too. Maybe a bit of weight loss, maybe a bit of other things, but mainly I want to get fit and healthy for cosplay and hot and sexy, obviously. But, well, let's just, you know, next to it. Tomorrow, which is your today, which might be even in the past because you're watching this in the future, which is my future, your past, your present, whatever. So when you're watching this, Viking season four has aired, and I'm currently working on a Vikings costume for Legather. I'm absolutely in love with this one. It has everything. It has leather. It has chainmail. It has hair and makeup and everything. She just looks hot. I've already started it on the chainmail in winter. I had some time. I was watching Netflix, and I just didn't want to lay on the sofa. So, I've done some chain mailing. This is a four by one pattern. So you basically have four rings in one ring and then you continue. And the easiest really is to just close a lot of rings and then just start connecting. There are a lot of tutorials on YouTube, but I will do another tutorial on chain mailing, how to do it, how to do it quickly, how to order rings. I really was like, which size should I get? Where should I get it? In the end, I ordered on Amazon Germany because it was just the easiest. I already got fabrics for the undershirt, but I have to dye it again because this is way too bright. It should be more like this color, but I love the structure of this one. So that's why I basically got it. This does fit pretty well, but it's actually not white enough. So I'm like, should I do it double? Should I look for another one? But seriously, if you're looking online, it's just really hard to find the right stuff and the right fabrics and my kitty is annoying. Wait a second. Say hi to Cass. This is our little fluff, but he's so fluffy. <laughs> I also got a couple of the leather strings I need. So the flat ones and this is the round one. But my main issue right now is I don't have the leather yet. Nobody's using the leather I need to use, which is a bit thicker, which needs to be able to <laughs> withstand some attacks. Basically armor, so it needs to be like this thick, which will make it really hard to work with. But hey, I'm up for the challenge. I've actually been to a place yesterday, but he had thinner leather, it didn't really work. The color would work for the pants, but the pants would have cost me just in fabrics, like in leather, 150 bucks or more. So I said, no, thank you, because I don't have that amount of money right now. Instead, my mom and I are going to a different company today. They do upholstering and stuff, mainly furniture stuff. Maybe, I doubt it, maybe they have something. If not, eBay it is. I'm also looking into rivets, which are kind of more decorational on the costume. I didn't really see a function, but it looks cool and I definitely want to keep it and be as close to the original as possible. eBay has a lot of options and I'm currently like, should I get the full, like the solid ones, the non-solid ones, the ones with a stick, like the back part, or which ones should I get? And then I need, obviously, tools and tools. Oh my god, I, I don't know where to start. So many things you have to keep in mind for this costume. And when I basically started the costume, when I decided to do the costume, I was looking at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's easy, I can do the pattern, and I just need to sew the undershirt, and so on and so on. And then I actually looked at the details, and then, yeah. Don't give that to me, <laughs> because I want to make it right. And yeah, that can actually take a while, which I didn't plan for because normally I do my costumes within a couple of weeks and then it's done. Like sewing, bam, done. And now I'm learning techniques how to do chainmail, how to do leather work, how to color leather, and so on and so on. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure how accurate any of the costumes are. Some are more accurate, others are not. I doubt that something like this would have actually existed back then, but it's just cool and I want to have it. And that's my challenge and that's what I'm doing. And earlier today I started on this, so I was like, oh my god, this is way too tight, I need more boobs. <laughs> Actually click on this video, this is a time lapse of the whole thing. This is how it looks right now, I only cut here to open it up, I haven't done any other cuts. I need a sharpie or something to actually draw the pattern on it. And I have decided to actually, which I never do, do like a pre-model before I actually cut the leather because the leather is way too expensive. So I will do the pattern out of this, then I will probably, 
probably. Use a thicker fabric, try it and I can still use that for a costume, you know? And then I will cut the leather and work on it. I'm excited and scared, if you know what I mean. This is the plan for now, finish the Legartha costume. Le Legartha? Legartha? Now I'm confused. I'm facing a lot of issues and problems and things, but it will work out, I'm pretty sure, because this is pretty straightforward, but it's a lot of work. And I've already done the chain mailing and I thought that would be the biggest part, but that was just like... And I was done. I think the biggest challenge is working with the leather. If I figure that out, I can do anything later on with leather. Not anything, but most things. I'm really happy to learn the techniques and... Yeah, we'll see how that turns out. And now to you guys. Have you ever worked on a Vikings costume? Which costume are you working on right now? Or if you're not actively working on a costume, which would be the costume you would like to work on? Thanks for watching. There will be tutorials. There will be a photo shoot behind the scenes. There will be hopefully a short, like me running through the woods. Maybe I find other Vikings that can do that with me. Otherwise it's just me, probably a bit bloody, probably a bit messed up. <laughs> <laughs> All the good stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Do you want to see the kitty again? Bye guys. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa.